riding trains, you don't know when you're crossing state lines. It's just, okay, you're in the next state. It all just seems like one big state. Added up all the mileage I rode on the freight trains, it was just over 50,000 miles. We didn't need much and we still thrived in the world and got by and developed good relationships and found places to sleep and we fed ourselves but we didn't follow the normal routine of a nine to five job or bills and all that. We just kind of worked our way around it and figured out this new system to live. Some people you get along with, some people you won't. So, you know, I became close with some people and never really developed strong bonds with others, but for the most part, everyone was open and we became close and not too much hostility. I learned a lot about people and how our country works and I consistently compare it to, you know, better education than going to a four-year college. I didn't do a lot of book work and studying, but I just looked at the world around me and learned a lot vicariously through what I was seeing. I would do odd jobs here and there, but for the most part, me and my friends would just dumpster dive. We would go behind grocery stores and just find good produce and food that wasn't quite perished yet, and we would just eat that. I just learned a lot about the world, or my world, just the United States. So going to so many towns and learning how to navigate different towns and talk to people and get around that way. I learned about the small world of the United States. You see a little bit of all the different neighborhoods and the different ways of life and how towns were built around the railroad and how they evolve over time and how they sprawl out based off of the industry needed. Yeah, it was a beautiful experience. A friend of mine who's in the book, his name is Soup, he wrote an introduction for the book, and the last sentence in his introduction stated, a period of juvenile prosperity. And I really related to that. I was like, wow, this time in my life really was a period of juvenile prosperity. 